Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I have in my clinical bag and what I take with me to clinical. So don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future. So this is the bag that I take with me to clinical. It is the lug bag. I got this from CAA in Canada. So I'm sure, pretty sure you can get it at any luggage store or travel store because um, I think it's supposed to be like a travel bag but it's been very useful to me. I've used it for three years so far and um, I haven't wanted to change it up. Uh, there's a lot of compartments in here and I can fit a lot of stuff in here, which is what I need for when I go to clinical. And yeah, let's get into this. I'll show you guys what I have in each compartment and what I recommend you guys take with you as well um, to clinical. In this compartment, I carry um, quite a few things. I carry my file, I don't even know what it's called, just like a file binder, like a, just to store files, it's like a spring, like a folder, no, file. Yeah, so in here I carry all my documents, all my patient research for the whole entire 10 weeks that I'm in clinical, and I separate each section by the week that I'm in clinical so that it's easy for my instructor to go through and it's easy for me to look for when I'm trying to do my evaluations and everything or just try to look back on certain meds that I gave so that I can use that for other research days. But um, yes, you'll need something like this. Well, I'm pretty sure you will need something like this just to keep all your documents in it. Even if it's not like patient research, you'll need like your CPR stuff and all that other stuff that you take with you to clinical. But yeah, I have my name on it on the other side and Yes, this has come in handy. I recommend everyone. This is technically my clinical binder, but I like this system a lot better because I'm not really good at organizing when it comes to a clinical binder. The other thing I take with me, and that I take my clinical shoes. So I'm not gonna take my shoes out just cause it's really gross and I don't wanna take them out of my room. But I have white Nikes cause we're supposed to wear white shoes to clinical. And I carry them in this Lululemon bag that I got with the gym bag when I purchased bag. So um, yeah, this has come in handy. I normally like to have a bag with me, even if it's a plastic bag, just to keep my shoes in at the end of the day because I don't like them in my bag because um, like my uh, clinical bag because it's just like gross. You know, you have bodily fluids on the floor and it's just touching everything. That's a no-no. But yeah, so this is my, um, these are my clinical shoes that I take with me. And... I have my stethoscope here. This is the Lippmann stethoscope. This is in the color raspberry. I don't know why I bought this color, but I wish I bought black. Um, yes, usually I have this in like a little container that I got from Amazon. I will link it below because I think that it's better just to keep it uh, safe and from getting damaged or anything. But I don't know where it is. I don't know how it didn't end up in my bag. Who knows where it is, but I usually have it in that little container and I'll Put a little picture and then i'll link it below for you guys but that is my stethoscope you need a good stethoscope for clinical um because literally like you're going to be using it every day so highly recommend lemon my other thing i have is my blood pressure cuff and i also have a little baby that i put my blood pressure cuff in um we do a lot of manual blood pressures uh especially in first year and sometimes a little bit in throughout second year. Um, but yeah, literally manual blood pressures are what you're gonna do for the first few years of nursing just because they want you to get a hang of doing it without like the, whatever, the electronic blood pressure machines. Um, so you're gonna need a blood pressure cuff. Uh, I re this is Prestige Medical. I'm pretty sure I got this off, uh, off of Amazon. So I'll link it below as well. And I usually put, like I said, I put this in a little bag, so I'm sure you can, it comes with it anyway, so you'll be fine. Like, you'll get one with it. And that's all I put in this big compartment here. Um, and then let's move on to this one right here, the front one. So I take with me a um, little pencil case because of course you're gonna need lots of pens when you're in clinical. Um, I will do a video or like a blog post on um, different products that I like to use, like different pens that I like to use when I'm in clinical and specific items that I take with me um, to clinical. This is just a general idea of what I take with me in clinical. But this um, pouch has all my pens, all my uh, pencils, 
uh, that I take with me, uh, highlighters that I use throughout the clinical day, but I don't take all of these with me on the unit. I just take whatever I need and then I put it back in here. Okay, so I have this little like um, tag thingy that I put like important cards um, that I need to take up with me on the unit. I also put my debit card in here because let's say I didn't bring a lunch for the day and I want to go down to the cafeteria. I don't want to have to go all the way down to the locker room just to get my debit card. So I keep it with me and I keep it in this little um, tag thingy just so that I can, it doesn't get lost in my pockets and I don't drop it anywhere. But yeah, I just put this onto my scrubs and then it's secured in there. And it also has my little um, card that give me, that has, I, that I've written like my password and username in. But yeah, this is really handy. Everyone should get this. I'm pretty sure I got this little thingy. My friend gave it to me, but I'm sure she got it from Staples. But yeah, that's that. And then, yes, I have my clinical cue cards. So these are just cue cards that have um, like different skills that I'll have to do during clinical. So I've uh, divided them into um, different types of skills. So trach, chest tubes, dosage, calculations, and how to do them. If I'm stuck on a question, um, what's this one? Oh, so like IVs, catheters, so everything. So um, in case my instructor asks me to do a skill and I can just pull these out, quickly read over them, and then read obviously the policy and procedure because you're gonna need to know that as per hospital, um, different hospitals have different procedures. So yes, yeah, so this has come in handy, especially in my medicine rotation because they're really, 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 really keen on you knowing your skills to the T. So I will also do another video on how I made these because I made these myself. I I don't know how I did them, but it um, took a long time and I will make sure to make a video on how I did this because I found that this was very handy for me and I'm sure a lot of people would benefit from making these as well. Okay, let's move on to... Uh, okay, so in these compartments here, I don't really carry anything, but I do have my name tag. I always keep it in here because I don't want to lose it because I don't want to ever have to replace that. I won't show you guys that because it says my um, the school that I go to. And then let's go to this compartment here. So in here, I have lotion. So I think that everyone should take lotion with them on the unit just because you're washing your hands like all the time and uh, with washing hands means that you get dry skin so this comes in handy um i also have multiple pen lights because the batteries on these die like crazy i got these from amazon as well i can link them below but you're gonna need a pen light for sure when you're doing your neuro assess assessment and yeah this is what i bring and then i also have a secondhand watch um, you're going to need a secondhand watch for sure during clinical, um, especially when you're doing your vitals, like you're taking your pulse, uh, the pulses and your respirations, you're going to need a secondhand watch. Some people take their Apple watch or like I have my Fitbit here as well. Sometimes I use it, but, uh, usually I use my secondhand watch like this one right here, just cause it's easier and I don't, I'm not used to looking at my arm, but yes, you're going to need one of these. But yeah, so that is mostly all that i take with me to clinical that i put in this big i also take my water bottle um i sometimes take my um hydro flask or i take just like a starbucks um thermos that can keep myself cold or hot um but yeah so if you guys have any questions or have any other recommendations of videos that i should do let me know I will try and get them done. This video was really quick because I don't know, there's not much that I take with me. Of course, I also put my scrubs in this bigger container, um, this area, whatever. Um, yeah, so I have them folded and I keep them in here. I don't have them in here right now because they're in my drawer. I haven't been to clinical in like forever. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any other video recommendations, let me know. I'm going to be posting a lot on nursing school just because I'm in my last year. And I think these videos are very helpful for oncoming nursing students or students who are still in the program. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming, guys. And I'll see you guys soon.